Number three. FM 95, an FM radio station broadcasts at a frequency of 9.51 times 10 to the 7th per second, which is 95.1 megahertz. What is the wavelength of these radio waves in meters? Okay, so if you want more in-depth information about what a frequency is and what a wavelength, if you guys are having trouble with understanding these concepts, go back to number two. I went into depth as to what a frequency is and what a wavelength is. For this one, we're just going to solve for the calculation. Okay, so I see that they gave me a frequency and frequency in chemistry is a V symbol. So I have a V of 9.51 times 10 to the seven per second. And just know that per second is the same thing as Hertz. So per second or hertz is the same exact thing. And they're asking for a wavelength. Wavelength in chemistry is represented by a lambda. So I'm going back and forth between wavelength and frequency. If I need to go back and forth between wavelength and frequency, you always use one formula. C equals lambda times frequency. All right? So it's a quick conversion. Technically, it's just in a formula. But... C equals lambda times V, so wavelength times frequency, V. C is a constant number. C is the speed of light, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Um, Speed of light, this is a constant. So star this number, you should memorize this number, and you should also memorize this formula. Um, lambda is your wavelength and that if you're using this formula, it has to be in meters because the speed of light is in meters. So the distance unit has to measure, uh, has to be the same. And then this is frequency. This is in per second or Hertz because they're exactly the same thing. So doesn't matter. Plug in and solve. So we know the speed of light 2.998 times 10 to the 8th equals, we are trying to look for the frequency, so lambda, times 9.51 times 10 to the 7th. Divide by 9.51 times 10 to the 7th on both sides. Cancel that out. And wavelength equals, let's get out the calculators, 2.998 2.998 times 10 to the 8th divided by 9.51 times 10 to the 7th. And we need three sig figs because the number that they gave you had three sig figs. So uh, it will be 3.15, 3.15. And yeah, that's it. So 3.15 meters because when you use this formula, the wavelength will come out in meters. And that's what they wanted. So Box this answer off. That's the final answer. Easy peasy, guys. Just a simple, you know, calculation. More practice you get with this one, the easier it's going to become. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want, click the subscribe button. It will get the word out to tons of students all over the world that may need help with the OpenStax textbook. And, you know, bringing the community together would be awesome. Thank you so much for that. And you also get to know when our next batch of questions come out. So that's pretty cool too. I see you guys all in number four. See you then.